This episode of The Young Turks is brought to you by Gamefly. Go to Gamefly.com slash TYT for your free trial membership. Glenn Beck has been on the warpath against George Soros, but not just George Soros, but what he calls, you know, basically he explains a conspiracy by a few people in the minority to control the rest of us and what he keeps calling hurting the rest of us, okay, with their grand plans and their scheming. Uh, he's called uh, Soros uh, Puppet Master. Uh, he says he's a shadowy international financier. He keeps talking about uh, Malaysian Prime Minister Mahatmir Mohamed's claim that Soros helped trigger the economic meltdown of Southeast Asian currencies in 1997. Uh, so Mahatmir makes that claim. Glenn Beck makes that claim. You know what else Mahatmir claims? That uh, Soros did it as part of a, quote, Jewish agenda. Glenn Beck doesn't mention that. He's just saying, right? So, all right, that's the beginning. Now, by the way, Puppet Master is word for word what the Nazis used to say about Jewish financiers, okay? Now, I, I don't like to bring up Nazi analogies, although Glenn Beck loves to bring up Nazi analogies, but this is word for word what they used to do to rile up people against the Jews. But we're just talking about Soros for now, so you never know, right? It just could be random that he's Jewish. Well, let's find out if he's Jewish, uh, if it's random. Uh, Glenn Beck did a program recently where he explained uh, that there was a, these group of people who were secretly controlling things and that they were spreading, quote, the big lie. Okay, again, reminiscent of things that we have heard in the past. So the big lie being spread uh, by puppet masters and financiers. And who are these puppet masters? Well, he calls them, quote, the intelligent minority. If you're not alarmed yet, get ready to be alarmed. Who is on his list of the intelligent minority? Adman Edward Bernays. Uh, he is from uh, 20th Century Public Relations. A random guy to pick out, but Beck doesn't think so. He thinks he's part of the conspiracy. Bernays happens to be Jewish. Okay. Uh, Sigmund Freud, the father of psychoanalysis. What he has to do with any of this? He's a psychologist, I don't know, but he's apparently part of the conspiracy. Freud happens to be Jewish. Uh, again, probably a wild coincidence. Of course, George Soros, who he uh, accuses of experimenting with people like they're animals. Made up, made up, made up, okay? <laughs> he also made up that George Soros turned in people, uh, fellow Jews, into the uh, Nazis. Not true at all. Who cares? He made it up. So three for three, George Soros, also Jewish. Then he picks Cass Sunstein, and he says that he is, quote, the most dangerous man in America. Cass Sunstein is a professor. Now he's in the Obama administration. He's one of the most respected uh, intellectuals in the country, but apparently he's incredibly dangerous. Well, you look at that, it turns out Cass Sunstein is Jewish, four for four. And then, uh, speaking of hurting people, he says no one's better at it than Andy Stern, the former head of the SEIU. Not the current head, but the former head of the SEIU, Andy Stern. That's weird. Jewish, five for five. Huh, okay. Uh, but, you know, he, he also includes the AFL-CIO president, Richard Trump, got for the first time, not Jewish. Uh, five for six. Okay. Uh, then he goes on and finds Walter Lippmann, who was a columnist in the mid-20th century, and... He says that uh, Lippmann viewed the media as a way to control people. He goes back to a journalist from the mid-20th century. You're going to be shocked to find out Lippmann, also Jewish, for six for seven. Then he goes to Francis Fox Piven, who honestly I had never heard of before. He's a professor at SUNY, City College of New York, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not even sure. And he says Beck is so, uh, that I'm sorry, that Piven is, quote, sowing the seeds of revolution. What? Who the hell is Piven? F funny enough, though, Piven turns out to be Jewish. Seven for eight. And then finally, out of all the governors in the country, he picks Ed Rendell in Pennsylvania and says, again, one of the elites that are, quote, here to guide the herd. You want to guess what Ed Rendell is? Jewish. Eight out of nine of the people that Beck puts in the intelligent minority that are part of this conspiracy to control us and to destroy us just happen to be Jewish. Gee, I wonder how that happened. Glenn Beck, anti-Semitic, oh, of course not. He says he's the most pro-Jew guy there is. <laughs> I mean, I couldn't find more random eight Jews in the country or in the history of the country. 
Francis Fox Piven? Walter Lippmann? Oh, come on, guys. Look, if you, I'm not the only one who's noticed this. Of course, Jeffrey Goldberg from The Atlantic writes about it and says, this is Beck's Jewish problem. What the hell is he doing? Jewish Funds for Justice, led by Simon Greer, says that Murdoch has to fire him. Quote, we find it hard to believe that it was only a coincidence that eight of the nine individuals on his list allegedly uh, uh, alleging a shadowy alliance to control the Americans throughout propaganda were Jewish. We've seen this movie before. This is exactly what happened in Germany. Oh, they're secretly controlling things. They're the problem. They're trying to destroy you. What are you going to do something about it? They're the intelligent minority. This is an even subtle intelligent minority. Are you kidding me? This episode of The Young Turks is brought to you by Gamefly. Go to Gamefly.com slash TYT for a free trial membership.